Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Recently I've been running out of mobile data every month and because I only get one gigabyte and I really don't want to pay for any more, especially when I'm in Australia and it costs a lot. So I've thought of a way to help minimize my data usage. So if you scroll from the top and click this button here, now usually when you turn on mobile data a lot of people turn on sync now what happens if you turn on sync is that every program on your phone every app on your phone starts downloading stuff so really you should ever turn on you should ever only turn on sync if you have Wi-Fi turned on right if I don't if I have Wi-Fi and I've turned off my mobile then I can turn on sync Otherwise, I'm never going to turn on sync because I don't want every app I've ever downloaded to download stuff. So just turn on mobile data, turn off sync. So another thing you can do is you can go into settings. So go click this gear icon and search for data usage. Search for data usage. And then you can see that you can set yourself a warning, a warning um, bar. So when you get to that, reach that amount of data, it tells you. So one gigabyte is the limit. So um, it's not going to ever go over one gig because then the phone will just not allow you to use any more mobile data. So um, you can also change the cycle to another month. If this change cycle thing is missing, I've got another video that shows you how to get this change cycle thing up again. But basically, you're going to change your cycle to whatever your, film, your mobile phone company sends you the bill for. So for example, if you set it to 12th every month, it becomes 12th of April to 11th of May. But let's change it back. Okay, so uh, another thing you're going to do is down here where it's got the app usage for each individual data, uh, each individual app, the data used for each individual app. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to click on each individual one and you're going to click on restrict background data. Okay, you're going to turn this on. And once you've turned it on, what that means is, unless you have this app open, it's not ever going to download any data. Okay, so you can see I have this. Oops, you got to go back into data usage again every time you get out of that. So you can see that I've got it restricted for pretty much every single program. Okay, so I've restricted it for Chrome. Uh, removed apps remove apps so that means I've already deleted the app um, so it's not going to download anymore so Facebook click on it make sure you restrict the background data go into data usage um, WeChat go into it restrict background data and then what else um, just pretty much everything. Make sure you restrict background data so it doesn't download stuff in the background. Restrict it. Anything else. So whichever app that is downloading a lot, make sure you restrict background data for it. Otherwise it's just going to keep downloading stuff in the background. Now the only downside to this is that it's going to um, not be able to receive stuff when you're not in the app. So for example, if you turn off background data for um, Facebook Messenger, so if you turn the background data off, then um, unless you open up Messenger, it's not going to get any new messages for you. So depending on your needs, maybe you will not restrict background data for your Messenger app. Maybe for your Messenger app, you won't restrict it. But everything else, you should definitely restrict it. Okay, so that's 
ever since I started doing this, I have not run out of quota. So you can see here, I've still got over a month. And what's the date today? 7th of May. And sorry, I've still got over half of the data, right? So right now, what am I up to? I'm up to about 500 meg and I have one gig. So I have over half over half of the data left because I get one gig a month. So that's really good. Okay, well, I guess that's the first tip I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.